Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to focus on uh, a type of endoplasmic reticulum and that is the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Before we go into smooth endoplasmic reticulum, just two lines on endoplasmic reticulum and that is that endoplasmic reticulum is one of the organelles that forms under cytoplasmic membrane system and they are an integral part of what is called as endomembrane network. As the word suggests, endo means inside within the cell. Membrane basically means that it's a membranous structure or membranous system and network essentially means that these membranous systems are coordinating with each other or there is a constant transport across uh, between the two between between the membranous systems to form what is called as a network and we uh, know that from nucleus to the plasma membrane uh, you have several membranous uh, organelles which are part of the endo, uh, endomembrane network and one such integral uh, membranous system is that of the endoplasmic reticulum. So let us look at the learning outcomes of the session. Now the endoplasmic reticulum has two types, the smooth and the rough endoplasmic reticulum. In fact, what has been found that the membranes of the smooth and the, endo, uh, smooth and the rough endoplasmic reticulum are continuous. You cannot really differentiate these into each other with respect to the membranes. And also what has been observed is that many proteins uh, that are present in the rough endoplasmic reticulum region can move on to the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And there are certain proteins that are very similar in both the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So that means that there are certain functions that are shared between uh, the smooth, smooth endoplasmic reticulum and the rough endoplasmic reticulum. So where is the difference? The difference generally is in the fact that smooth endoplasmic reticulum is not studded with ribosomes. It does not have ribosomes on its surface while the rough endoplasmic reticulum has and therefore one could say that the smooth endoplasmic reticulum does not have protein synthesis as its core function. In fact what has been also observed is that those cells that have a high um, concentration of smooth endoplasmic reticulum uh, in many of them, the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is highly curved and tubular and these tubules are connected to each other uh, in the cytoplasm. So therefore, that is something that is very distinct about the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It has a defined role in steroid hormone synthesis. Basically, we consider that it can produce col uh, synthesized cholesterol, phospholipids, etc. It can sequester calcium. When you use the word sequester, it means that you can store calcium within the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And that is one of the major functions of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. And also it has a role to play in detoxification. So let us look at one by one the functional aspects of SCR because the structure is uh, very simple. Yet let us look at the structure first. So we know that uh, the endoplasmic reticulum is continuous with the outer and outer nuclear membrane. So one can say that from the outer nuclear membrane, the endoplasmic reticulum originates. And therefore, as you can say that uh, the nucleus is part of the endomembrane network as well. Now these uh, endoplasmic reticulum are actually structured into what is called as flattened sacs. And these flattened sacs are called the cisternae. Now, uh, when you have uh, some of these flattened sacs also becoming tubular and curved and interconnected, uh, then that is something that is, uh, that is also observed. But look at the fact that these are continuous with these. So there is no demarcation really between the two, but yet the demarcation is in that the structure is slightly different where here, you have flattened cisternae, here you have more curved and tubular structures. Those cisternae which are flat and are studded with ribosomes, they finally form what is called as a rough endoplasmic reticulum. While, while those that are smooth surface, that is they do not have any ribosomes on it, 
they form what is called as the smooth endoplasmic reticulum and this is what is going to be the focus of this session and we are going to look at the various functions carried out by smooth endoplasmic reticulum so one of the major functions associated with smooth endoplasmic reticulum is that of mobilization of glucose from glycogen so many cells in the body which are involved in homeostasis of glucose would have a higher amount of ser or smooth endoplasmic reticulum uh, uh, present so such cells are basically that of liver kidney and intestine they are responsible for glucose homeostasis of the body and uh, it is interesting to note that the smooth endoplasmic reticulum uh, wherever they are present the glycogen metabolism happens very close to the smooth endoplasmic reticulum now let us look at the glycogen metabolism itself and how the smooth endoplasmic reticulum plays an important role so uh, these cell types generally have what you call as glycogen reserves and we all know that glycogen are uh, chains of uh, glucose uh, in the glucose one phosphate form and what is observed is that when glycogen has to be uh, metabolized that means it has to be degraded then it is converted to single units of glucose one phosphate now these uh, these uh, single units of glucose one phosphate okay so this uh, breakdown of glycogen is also dependent on a stimulus so if the body uh, has less of glucose then pancreas release what is called as glucagon glucagon uh, is a hormone that gives a signal to these cells to uh, uh, mobilize glucose from glycogen so uh, there is there are two enzyme systems that are involved the glycogen synthase and the glycogen phosphorylase so the glycogen synthase is responsible for synthesis of glycogen while glycogen phosphorylase is responsible for the breakdown of the glycogen and so what you would observe is that the glycogen is converted to glucose 1 phosphate now glucose 1 phosphate is then converted to glucose 6 phosphate now in the form of glucose 6 phosphate glucose cannot leave the cell because the membrane is impermeable to glucose 6 phosphate it has to be converted to glucose and then glucose is released through the membrane through the transport glute, uh, glucose transporters now this process of converting glucose 6 phosphate in glucose is thanks to the smooth endoplasmic reticulum which has a surface membrane protein called the glucose 6 phosphatase and it is this glucose 6 phosphatase that removes the phosphate from the glucose uh, and this is then converted to glucose which we can see that is being released now interestingly the deficiency of glucose 6 phosphatase has been associated with the glycogen storage disease uh, called as von georg disease okay so this is this is therefore extremely important and uh, that is present in the membrane of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum now let us go to another function of smooth endoplasmic reticulum and this is an important function and that is that the smooth endoplasmic reticulum stores calcium the question that comes up here is why does the cell need to store calcium because calcium is a signal molecule or rather you can say that this is a, a secondary messenger so the primary messenger could be a hormone which gives the signal to inside the cell and within the cell the calcium takes up the job of uh, you know furthering the signal so calcium acts as a signal uh, molecule now this calcium is uh, uh, is generally stored inside the smooth endoplasmic reticulum so that the intracellular calcium level the cytoplasmic calcium level is maintained only when there is a requirement or when there is a signal then the intracellular calcium level has to increase that is the cytoplasmic calcium level has to increase when the calcium level has to increase then the smooth endoplasmic reticulum can release the calcium from itself but when it has to uh, get the calcium back to normal levels then it again takes it up to transporters and stores it within the within it within its lumen so you can see very well over here how the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is able to take up calcium and store calcium within so here you can see 
that all these that are present inside are calcium ions. So this is a condition where there is sufficient calcium present. It is storing the calcium. On requirement, it can release the calcium into the cytoplasm. It has been observed, of course, when the calcium is uh, less in the cell, the SAR has less of calcium, then interestingly, the, mem uh, the surface uh, molecules that are present on the SCR come close to the calcium channels on the uh, plasma membrane. And uh, together, they initiate the opening of the calcium channels to bring in calcium. And once the calcium has entered the uh, cytoplasm, the calcium from the cytoplasm is then taken into the SCR and stored. So as mentioned earlier, uh, why is calcium important? Because calcium acts as a signal molecule. So let us take, for example, the, the uh, muscle cells. Now, we all know that uh, the muscle cells have actin myosin. Uh, so you have several sarcomeric uh, units present. And those sarcomeric units have to be triggered in order for the sliding of the actin to uh, give rise to contraction. Now, that is initiated by or that is induced by calcium. And calcium itself is induced to be released into the cytoplasm by certain stimuli. So, you have therefore, say for example, acetylcholine binding to the acetylcholine receptor and that would trigger a signal uh, transduction that would uh, release calcium from the SCR. So, intracellular calcium levels become high and calcium binds to several calcium binding proteins like calmodulin, etc. That in turn can bind to troponins and the troponins are uh, associated with the muscles and the muscles then can get triggered to carry out contractions. So in muscles, in fact, the uh, endoplasmic reticulum is called a sarcoplasmic reticulum and you can, you can imagine how important the calcium store is in the muscle cells because the release of the calcium from the smooth endoplasmic reticulum is going to lead to the uh, muscle contraction per se and the, mus the uh, calcium has to be taken back to let the muscles relax again. So this is very important. So effectively what we understand is that in many cell types calcium acts as a signal molecule and therefore it is stored inside the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The third function that we can associate smooth endoplasmic reticulum is with the fact that it is able to detoxify drugs, alcohol, etc. by a system that is called a cytochrome P450 system. So the membrane of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum has the cytochrome P450 system. And interestingly, the cytochrome P450 system needs uh, NADPH and oxygen and uh, the substrate that has to be converted into a, um, into a form that is less harmful. So you can very well see over here how the electrons are, uh, you know, from the NADPH pH are taken up to reduce oxygen to water and also to uh, oxidize the substrate itself. So here this is what is happening. So you get RH2 getting converted to ROH, O2 also getting converted to H2O. So very well, you can see over here how uh, this hydrophobic compound is converted to a less harmful hydrophilic form. And this can either be excreted out of the body or it can be metabolized further to be degraded. In, uh, what is very important to note is that the cytochrome P450 system does not have a very high substrate specificity, which means that it is able to detoxify a large number of compounds because it does not have too high a, spe uh, a substrate specificity. It can, uh, it can utilize any substrate and convert it from its hydrophobic form to a hydrophilic form. Liver, therefore, has a lot of smooth endoplasmic reticulum because liver is an organ where a lot of drugs, etc. are metabolized. Even alcohol is metabolized in the liver and hence, it is the SCR which has the P cytochrome P450 system that is functioning actively to uh, convert these uh, compounds into a less harmful form. Although there is always or there are many a times exceptions to rules, it has been found that sometimes certain 
compounds when they are converted by the cytochrome P450 system, then those compounds are in fact proving to be carcinogenic. So, it can give rise to sometimes carcinogens and that is detrimental. But majority of the time, what it is doing is definitely detoxifying. Then one also associates smooth endoplasmic reticulum with synthesis of sterols, phospholipids and ceramides. So what has been observed is that phospholipids are actually assembled in the cytoplasmic leaflet of the SCR, which means the outer leaflet of the membrane of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So you can see how fatty acids and glycerol, so glycerol we know is the backbone and the two fatty acids are acylated on the second, the first and the second carbon of the um, uh, glycerol 3 phosphate. So you see that you have what is called as a phosphatidic acid formed and you can see how it is in the outer leaflet of the uh, membrane of the SCR. So you can also call it the cytoplasmic leaflet because this is a cytoplasm. So acyl transferase is carrying out formation of phosphatidic acid. Phosphatidic acid then finally by phosphatase and choline phosphotransferase is, is, is transferring choline, uh, phosphocholine to the uh, phosphatidic acid to form phosphatidylcholine. So you can see how the phospholipid is formed. Plus uh, the membrane of the uh, SCR also has HMG-CoA reductase. This enzyme is the key regulatory enzyme for synthesis of cholesterol. So you can see how sterols are formed. And so many cells or many cell types that are producing steroid hormones would have a high amount of SCR because they are needed for the sterol synthesis per se. Ceramides and gangliosides too are formed in the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So those cells that are needed to form myelin sheath, etc., they all would have higher percentage of smooth endoplasmic reticulum. So let us make the conclusions. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum comprises regions of the endoplasmic reticulum that are not studded with ribosomes and they have a set of proteins that enable them to carry out very specific functions. The SER is able to sequester calcium due to the presence of transporters that are specific for calcium uptake and release. These enable calcium-mediated signaling and other functions. Synthesis of sterols, ceramides, phospholipids and mobilization of glucose from glycogen are important functions of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. It also comprises the cytochrome P450 system that enables detox detoxification of several different substrates including different drugs and alcohol, etc. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum, named so because of the absence of ribosome on its surface, can extend right to the plasma membrane depending on the cell's functions. It plays an important role in both synthesis and storage. Somehow, the S and the S gel with the S of the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. Thank you.